Hello everybody, Sam the Old Man playing games. Let's stomp G for the acronym. And uh, let's have a look here. We've got the Meg Clash. I think I might have missed a match yesterday. I was not well yesterday. But we've got three matches left that we can play over the next three days. I don't know what our benefits um, or what the special cards are going to be. I think you have to actually just get in there. Uh, so let's just... Yeah, well, let's pick a better deck, because... No, let's just go in with my money. No, 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 no. I was going to just go in with the money deck, but no, we really need to go in with a better deck, because we don't have a battleground effect bonus. So, let's change to my music deck. That's a pretty decent deck. Lots of benders. See how that one turns out. And get this mega clash going. Here we go. Uh, current level 7. So we're starting straight up at level 7 and fight. Want some of this? I'm the hottest around. I'm also the best in this game. Definitely the best. Not the worst. No fooling around here. Alright. Big claim that I'm the best at this game. Alright. That's... Oh. Get, oh no, I thought automatic was on. So they've opened with a Leela. I might counter with a Leela, but let's see what we've got. What are our combos? So we've got Menstrual Cycle, Sexy Cat, Dodgeball Meg, Zip Popper Meg, Teen Laquifa, uh, Playlist Meg, Meg's in Charge, Anti Pot PSA, and Dog Meg. Um, so basically you need your legendary Meg. I'm pretty sure Meg is a legendary card now. And I don't have her. If you have, I mean, it would be great if they had her in the shop. That would have been a good way to make tons of money. Is to be able to buy Meg in the shop and have tons of Megs. It's like I have tons of benders. But that's not what happened. So we're going to open with a Leela. And pretty much we just have to watch out for Meg cards. Whoa, Oktoberfest Leela. That is one of the toughest Leela combos to combat. We could make Susan Boyle. It's going to give us a 21 leech, which isn't going to be enough, but we can cripple them 18 as well. An Opera Singer Leela, which also isn't going to do the trick. Or another Opera Singer Leela with only 23 leech. That Oktoberfest Leela is probably one of the best Leela combos. With the the leech and the payback, but we're gonna we're gonna do Susan Boyle and let's see how that turns out. Uh, hopefully, it turns out in my favour. The 18 cripple all means I'm not gonna take much damage except for that 17 um, payback. So that could be tough. I think what I need to do next is throw down some Eugene. I want my benders. Benders and musical cards are the best, but we'll go with Eugene. He's going to give a little bit of motivate to Susan Boyle, which might actually, no, it's not going to be enough, but it might help, like, just work down. So now Oktoberfest Lil is down to 15. Is it going to be enough? No, because, well, here's the thing. Now Oktoberfest Lil is 35. The question is, who's, who's first? Eugene Belcher has a hijack, which is perfect against that drunk at the clan. If we make gas class, we boost. So this is really tough because we're gonna we would boost our attack on. Um, oh no no! Actually, this is probably a good move, gas class here, because we get more cripple. It's not cripple all, but another 17 cripple is really going to help. Doesn't matter who it goes against. We get the the wall breaker, so Drunk at the Clam doesn't have a wall anymore. And we can motivate up Susan Boyle from 8 to 13, and that extra little bit's going to help. So let's we're going to do that. As long as we can take out Drunk at the Clam before the craze gets too crazy, we'll be good. One health left on Oktoberfest Leela. Uh, but next turn we've got it, and it won't quite have got me, fortunately. But next turn we got it. 
Great, I'm going to do another Eugene here to motivate up gas class. Um, is that the right move? I think it is. There we go. There's Eugene again. I think we, we can make more gas class as well. Let's see what happens. Great, Susan's winning. Ouch, Tequila Roger is really going to hurt us. In fact, probably going to destroy us. 44 um, at, uh, health, is that enough? I don't know. I really don't know. We've got a 15 leech, though. That's going to be really useful. 10 craze, 10 craze. I think they're the same, basically. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. One man musical. With the 15 leech in there, we might possibly survive. This is going to be really close. Um, we've got the, the cripple going through onto Tequila Roger, but he's gassing and paybacking me. Great, we've won. We've got it. This was a tough match, but we did it. We did it. Uh, let's get Bender in there now, finally. I don't think he's even going to get a shot off, but... Oh, what a match. These clash matches are tough matches and tons of fun. Uh, it was it was close. I, I was not confident that I was going to win. We won with a King of the Hill uh, character. Maybe I should switch to Zap, but... Uh, Let's keep going with Bobby. It works. It works. Match number two. In the Meg Clash. Well, this time we're fighting against Swing Game Miss. Or Swing and Miss. Swing and Miss. That's what it is. And from Louise Rocks. Um, the Guild. I think that's what it, how it works or maybe swing and miss is the guild and louise rocks is the player either way how are we going to open here we can make some good fart school options there so i think i am going to open with louise wine bucket is okay oh no martini peggy what is going to be our best combo against that so fart school louise here um is going to have 23 gas and that's how we're going to have to take her out gas the 16 cripple's not going to do the trick. Um, the butler is with 18 payback. The payback could work. But no, I think I think we'll get killed before... Oops! Oops! I might have just lost. I, did, I meant to put it back. That was not what was supposed to happen. So... Alright. I think I've lost now. I think that, that mistake has got me. Uh, let's see what happens. The fight school's in there at least. Um, he's done Bender's weapons with the bomb. Oh no. Washboard Bender is not going to help us. Um, that is terrible, but I don't have much option here. I have to put Washboard Bender in to take out Bender's weapons. Martini. Oh, I don't. I don't have to. Fight school, Louise. The Motivate works on musical cards, um, which is... Uh, and if I do that, Washboard Bender is not musical, I don't believe. You know, I really want Red Rodriguez to real. Let's put Bender in over here and see how this turns out. I don't think it's going to work in my favor. They killed each other! We gassed Peggy Martini. So we're in some good spots now. Red shirt, blue shirt might die. But if we go with the tree, we'll get 15 leech and it'll survive for a little bit longer. Bender, if he can survive, we can make Red Rodriguez too real. Let's see what happens. Bender survived. Oh, this is another close match. There's Red Rodriguez too real with an extra 19 punch. Bender's weapons is going down, which means the punch is all going to go on to aversion therapy. Um, I'm getting paybacked by 17, so this is, this is tight. Tree's going to heal up Red Rodriguez too real a little bit. Jug blow, Bobby, Christian Rock. I think Christian Rock's pretty good. All three different musical combos with Bobby. So Bobby is going. Oh, what's Christian Rock's? Is it? I hope it's not. I can't see the bottom effect there. I really hope it's not crazed, because James Wood High School will steal it all. Um, is Red Rodriguez too real going to die? I don't think so. I think that thirteen health has yes. Oh, we just took him out. Oh no, running back Hank is huge. 18 attack and 16 punch. <sighs> this is so close. This is so close. So Jug Blower Boggy, Bobby, 
not boggy. Um, I don't think it'll work well enough. Okay, Christian Rock's got a 12 wall. That could help us. And the 10 cripple, that will definitely help keep us alive. But the punch is still there. Or belly drum, a 15 wall. I, oh, I think I'm going to go with the 15 wall. And hope that I can boost him with the attack. Oh, and a Neil Goldman. So, I don't know that he'll get through me. This is going to work well. There's a Turn and Jeff. Nice musical card. That um, Oh, Opera Singer is an option. But I think Super Dance Squad is what we're going with. With 17 craze, we got this now. Uh, that one wasn't quite as close as... Well, it started off close. But then we pulled ahead. And we pulled ahead a little bit each card. And that meant that we eventually were going to win. Unless he played a, a Meg. If, if we once we get to someone with a Meg deck, we're done. Alright. Four more matches to go. Current score, 800. What do we need? Uh, rankings? No. Rewards? Milestones? We need 2,000 points to get this next first milestone. And if we can get to eight and a half thousand points in these three days, then I'm right on track for exactly the same as I do reward-wise in every single clash. All right, let's go and put my Sam the Old Man head over Bobby. There we go. That's where I like to put it. Perfect. How are we going to open here? Courtney's dad. So Jingle Pop. Was it Poplar Jingle Fries is an option. 20 attack and 13 punch should, could help us a lot. One man musical um, with the leech. Okay, that's that's what I'm going for. Let's let's get Eugene down there. He's got 40 health. What combo has he done? Drunk Peter. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Is one man musical going to do the trick? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if that will do the trick. The leech, the 17 leech is the only thing that's going to keep me sort of alive. But he's got 26 gas, so I'm dead. Yep, I'm just straight up dead. There's Burger and Fries Louise. I, I, think, I don't think there's anything I can do to get through Drunk Peter. Um, Roger's Sexy Shorts, a Frido. A Frido might do it if I stay alive. Roger's Sexy Shorts might survive for a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Um... Will Frido be able to take out Drunk Peter? I think so. With his gas and payback and the, the Burger and Fries Louise chipping away at that bomb, I think, yes, Frido did the trick. Now, oh no, Principal Peter's a huge card. Oh no. Fart School Louise, will that be enough against Principal Peter? The gas, I don't know that it will be and we won't get, uh, I think it'll, she'll die. 68, yeah, I think there's a good chance she'll die before we get the boost enacted. Or we could go for Red Rodriguez 2 real. 24 attack and 20 punch. Um, let, let's take the risk. Pretty sure Bergen and Fries Louise is going down. I'm going to have to take the Jug Blow Bobby hit. Oh no, everyone went down. This is my only shot. Uh, but I think I'm dead now. I think I, this, I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Oh, we lost one. Oh, well, it, we, it was bound to happen. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, hopefully I can win this time. The musical musical deck is working well enough, working well enough. I guess we still got the drunk battleground effect going. I assume so. I think it's drunk and money. And that must be why there's so many drunk cards popping out. How are we going to open this one? I think we're going to open with Bender and follow it up with a Leela. Unless we can make a Bender combo straight away. We can't. We're getting all character cards. So there's Leela. And there's Turn and Jeff. So we can make a Red Rodriguez 2 real. And with that, I reckon I've won this match without a problem. Leela Balloon Art. We've got to make Susan Boyle here. Uh, with that Leech. So that, that Leela does not die. But we got another bender to make another bender. Oh, we won already. Easy victory. Easiest fight that I've had. Funny how far that one loss put me back. Alright, we're getting 450 tokens. We've got two matches left. K 
Can we get to the two and a half? I don't think we're going to hit milestone one in this episode. We've got to get some more wins on the board. Um, all right. So they've gone with Luan. What am I doing here? We've got Bandit Bob is a pretty good card to go with. Or Hip Hop Bob as well, depending on what Luan's combo is. If This is actually an advantage, sort of, going second. Okay, he's got a huge... Oh, Bible study is actually huge. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wow. Made me sneeze. Whoa. Bless me. Whoa. Thanks, Luan, from Bible study. All right. So I really want to put in Hip Hop Bob, but with their hijack, they'll just take it all. It just won't work. Um, which means I've got to do Bandit Bob, but with a 12 wall and 19 leech as well. Oh no, I'll, I'll break through the wall, but with a 19 leech, I think Luan Bob's actually, oh sorry, Bible study might actually take out my mythic bandit Bob, I think. Next, what have we got? Death Metal Chris is a great option. So let's get Chris in there. Great bandit Bob will survive. Oh no, bandit Bob is down. Oh, Death Metal Chris is, ah, uh, because Claw... Flatch Fry has a 24 bomb. So unless I until I take out oh great we took out Luan. But I need to take out Claw Patch. Else well whatever oh Chris is just alive. He's he's crippled, so it's all about the death metal punch and payback. So what are we doing? We're gonna go with Bender. Bender, Bender, Bender. I think the Death Metal and Claw Patch are going to take each other out. Let's see what happens. Or he might take me out. Uh, no, he's taking out Death Metal with Claw Patch, and then I'm I'm in big trouble. I'm in massively huge trouble here. I might actually lose this match. I've put in Burger and Fries to bomb away at Claw Patch. Um, and then what am I going with? What's going to do the trick here? I don't know. I don't, don't know at all. I, I might put Hip Hop Bob in to survive a couple turns. Um, I don't think the bomb was enacted because I didn't attack. You have to attack and you have to have more than zero attack to actually attack. So I think he's got me. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Ouch. Well done. Um, from Visibomos from the Kings of Valhalla. I thought I had you at the start there. But you played a what? It, you played well. You played or well. I was not expecting. I mean, that claw patch fry was with 24 bombs, a little bit insane. And with my mythic Bob, oh, we hit our milestone. Well, we did hit the milestone after all. Oh, uh, the milestone was only two thousand, not two and a half thousand. But with one more fight, I think we're even going to hit two and a half thousand anyway. It's going to be tight having missed a match, having missed a day to actually hit that second milestone. So here we're opening with Bender, great. So this is how, how the deck's designed. Open with Bender, and then put him Red Rodriguez to real, and we're gonna kill PTA Rivalry straight up. Great, and now we're gonna go with Chris, and we're gonna get Death Metal Chris in there with some more punch. There we go, Death Metal Chris, 21 more punch. And now I've won. Because there's no card that he can play that can take the 29 damage, plus 23 punch, plus 21 punch. And we got ourselves a nice victory. That was a good set of cards dealt and a nice win to finish that match. Well, that was the Meg Clash. Uh, the very first battles that I did there. We'll just quickly do a battle in the finger cutter challenge so that we... We're at least on the board and we get some rewards. Just fast forward a battle there. We're guaranteed win that first battle. Level one. Plus one with that win. And we'll do the same with our other fight. Uh, the grill battle. Get a fight in just so that we're on the board and we rank and we get the base rewards. Here we go. And fast forward through that match for the win and what else are we going to do we'll go back to our money deck 
and we're going to check if it's still drunk because if it is still drunk I should probably top up the deck with drunk cards. Um, and then let's have a look here. So, oh, so there is a Meg tier box. Let's have a look at that. So what can you pull out of this deck? Tap to see all cards. Yep, all the Meg cards that are great in the Clash. Oh, uh, no, no, okay, that's Meg, um, thingamajiggies. Interesting that you get them from packs now. But there's Meg, Griffin, and all the, um, oh, interesting, Cuddles. Why, it's an animal card. So, you've got Meg, and Meg's in charge. But really, you're after that, just that Meg there. And then the animal, and, oh, I wonder if Addicted is coming next. We, we just had Addicted, didn't we? I'm not sure. Oh, we've got Fights in there, too. Maybe these combo with Meg. They must combo with Meg to make the Meg cards that are boosted. That must be it. Um, but it's all right. That's that's pretty decent cards, and there actually don't have any of them. If I had enough stones, I would be tempted to make some pulls. Interesting that you get um, what's it? So you get level one playlist Meg, level one epic or better research speed ups. I've, I've never done pulls out of these tier boxes before. Guaranteed Meg's in charge on tier 5. Don't want Meg's in charge power card. I want Meg. Anyway, um, I don't think we have enough to do the pulls. So, oh, I was looking. Is it still drunk or is it just money? It is drunk and money. So let's get back to our drunk deck. Top up with um, some drunk cards instead of musical cards. Oh no, we're on the music deck. So there's our give me your money deck. It's a money card. Okay, Doomsday de whoops, Doomsday device is tempted to leave. Jimmy Jr. might get the kick. Um, there's some animal cards. Okay, there's a drunk card. So let's filter for drunk and see what I've got that I could put in here. We will need legendary as well. We don't want money, we want drunk. There we go. So I've got some, a couple cards that I could put in here. We've got um, Pontucket Ale. So I might take out this Sacrificial, oh, sacrificial Robot Goat makes some pretty good combos with some of these cards. We might take out Jimmy Jr. Horse Costume. Oh, put in the card first, Pontucket Ale, Jimmy Jr. We might take out a Doomsday Device. Oops. We'll throw in Welcome Mojitos and take out a Doomsday Device. And what else? One last thing. I want to put Peter in there just for fun. Which one should we take out? Should we take out a Fry? Um, let's put a Pontucket Patriot Ale, take out Sacrificial Robot Goat after all. And which card should we pull out? Let's take out the Fry for now. Put in Peter, pull out Fry. There's our changes, hopefully that's saved. There we go, it says it's saving, which is perfect. We'll go and select our Give Me Your Money deck and pull out. If it didn't save, Oh well, still gets glitched. Let's go in the arena, see how that turns out. Might as well keep going with this money drunk deck in the arena. See how we go. Boost our arena level. And what have we got? Joey Joe Joe. Okay, they've opened up, oh, take automatic off. Ah, oh, terrible, terrible. Oh, no, actually, it's not terrible, terrible. We can make some good combo options with that. So the question is, do we do Opera Singer Leela with 30 heal? That will win. Or do we do Red Rodriguez to reel? If the punch goes on to Peggy, it's dead. Um, but we're not going to play much musical cards, I don't think. So the cheers isn't going to get much bonus there. Opera Singer Leela, it is. She will leech herself back to full health. $300 money haircut, we'll open with that. Uh, we're taking some damage, so, but we can make Lou Belcher, Lou Um, I guess it's uh, motivating up other money cards. 
I don't have another money card in my deck. Don't know that that's the best combo option. Or we can make a bender or Phanerium with a hamburger of 10 and a shield. Is that a shield or? No, that's just a shield of 15. A shield of 15 will do the trick. And healing up other cards by 15 per turn will definitely help us out. Alright, it's a money card now. So now we can play Louise and make that Louise combo. So... There we go, we got another money card, and that will motivate up Bender's Orphanarium by 11. It is motivate to, oh, rich, it's rich, but I call it money. But, um, there we go, we got the win with that. Nice victory in the arena. Pretty happy with those pulls that I got from those golden turds. It turned out pretty good for me. There's Zap. All right, and we're fighting Infinite 801 from the Adult Swimmers. I guess we're opening with Bender. Against Mythic Stewie is a bit dangerous because he can make some pretty good combos there. The question is, do I open with Bender's Orphanarium or do I go with... Oh, Jose Severo, drunk boosted. That's what we're doing. Jose Severo, what's the drunk bonus? Um, all drunk gas and leech 50%. Oh, perfect. The leech becomes huge. Way bigger than Stewie. And we can uh, boost and gas. Oh, love it. I, th I think that might be the first time I've ever played Jose Severo. Uh, lucky me, lucky me. Alright, he's got drunk fry, which is a terrible combo for me. But if I can make it this hangover nightmare with the with the hijack and the leech from Stewie, then I'm in it to win it. And if Jose Severo and or Stewie punched on Drunk Fry, we got some options still. Whoa, he's got Stan in there too. All right, here we go. So he's gonna get huge leech, 20 leech, and we're gonna hijack. And we're going to be gassing him because it's drunk. Oh, but he's going to gas me too. So this is going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Okay, we did 27. Did, did the hijack work yet? No, I don't think it did. He's not taking me down. He's only attacking 40 this turn. 42. Good, we hijacked some of that off. Whew. Um, so we're still, we're still alive. We are still alive. Hijacked again. 28. Is Drunk Fry going to die? Um, he's got payback, so... Uh, they might kill each other. We'll see what happens there. Okay, Pete and Drunk. Lord Griffith is a great option there. No, he's got a Meg. I'm in trouble. Oh, no, no. Great, we're not in the clash. Whew. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so the question is, will Hangover... Yes! Hangover Nightmares survived. Jose Severo... Is still on full leech health. He hasn't done any combos with Stan, who's hanging in there with his wall, but slowly depleting, I believe. Or maybe they're at at uh, stalemate. But Peter is now becoming a Lord Griffith. He's getting uh, the hamburger is going to help. Whoa, twenty shield. That's huge. The shield. Oh no, no. where did the shield go? No shield. Gas. Oh no, we do have shield, a 13 shield. I'm, I'm confused. I'm a little bit confused. The shield went, the gas showed up. I guess the gas is higher. The gas is from the money boost. Um, Rich cards are cheers 50% of their base value and shielded 20%. That's where the shield is coming from. The shield is coming from the money uh, battleground effect boost. But in any case, Lord Griffin is a huge card. The 18 hamburger means that none of my cards will die. Lord Griffith would be the first to die if they can even take any down. So I'm pretty sure I've got this match now. It's a long one. It was a long one. I do love that Hangover Nightmare card too. I think that's the first time I've made that combo. So a game of first. Jose Severo and Hangover Nightmare. I've got some, some good... Um, Drunk combos going for some of the... Well, I guess I've never really had enough drunk cards to make drunk decks. So it's working well. It's working very well for me. 
Two wins out of two. How far can we go in the Super Fight Club? Okay, Nega Bite. Okay, how are we gonna go? There's Philip J. Fry. Shall we open with Stewie? I think we should. We've got some, I mean, counter Monty Hall is gonna be a pretty big card to, to have in that first spot. Whoa, lots of big fries. All right, let's do it. There we go, payback of 19 and the leech, so we won't die. 21 attack is decent. Okay, now we've got to go with Bender. Oh, he's got Mythic Bender. Oh no, he's got Mythic Bender. Oh, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. I don't know how I'm gonna take out that. And he's got more drunk cards. He might be able to take me out just from the number of cards he's got in play. Bender Brow, we've got to put Bender Brow in so that Bender doesn't die. 19 wall, we really need it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Dinner Wine Bob is getting boosted as well. Um, Bender's Orphanarium as well will certainly help us. I'm, I'm done, I've only got 8 health left. Can we, and we're only going to kill him 44, so, ah, oh, what a match. And then he made a Bending School grad, that was insane. Oh, he's so lucky to have Mythic Bender. And I lost. I lost. I thought I had it there. But he just got too many cards and I had to make combos to survive. Oh, that was that was huge. That was fun. Alright, let's keep on going here. With this drunk animal deck. This is this is literally huge. Okay, wine bucket. This is the wine bucket. Um, how are we gonna go? There's a $300 haircut. We've got lots of money cards. We've got drunk cards. We can make drunk Peter, which is a huge option. Drunk Hank is pretty huge too. Which one do we want? Um, well, either way. Oh, no, no. Upon Tucket Ale might die if I play that first. Someone said play your boosted card first. But it's only got 24 health. I think we're going to play Peter. He's drunk as is and see what, what he does. He's played a big Peter too. Alright, drunk Peter with cripple all 10. And the gas, the huge amount of gas could be the option. Although, we could make, we could make Lord Griffith here. And get the cheers going. And the gas is certainly going to help. That'll make Lord Griffith as well. Ooh, oil receipts. You know what, I think I'm going to go with the money, rich money cards. We're going to go with Lord Griffith and see if he does the trick for us. Okay, great. We're one card down. Next, we're going to put $300 haircut. This one has 40 health, so we're good. And it, with 18 uh, hamburgers here on Lord Griffith, I'm in good position. No, no, not drunk fry. What? Oh, Bender there. Will he do the trick? 21, attack 21. Um... Or, ooh, we could do, try and get oil receipts in. Um, but he's going to attack 33 or more. I think Bender's our only option here. This, this, oh, we're in trouble now. We are in trouble. Lord Griffith with the craze. The craze took it home. Good work, Lord Griffith. Whew. Oh, I, I got worried there. So worried. He didn't, uh, yeah, they're getting, oh. I don't even, I'm, I'm, words, words not working, just so flustered from that, that attack, it was so close. Phew, Lord Griffith, okay, what have we got, a graffiti mural, okay, Opera Singer Leela's not the worst card in the world to open with there, fortunately she can't research with, uh, Peter Schmidt Mansion, we're still doing that research, oh, we could go with Lord Griffith straight up as well, or a Bender's Orphanarium, uh, we've got lots of options here. So let's open with Peter. Peter is drunk. He is a great card to open. He gets his drunk bonuses straight up. Fight School Louise is an interesting combo there. Opera Singer Leela as well. Or do we get Lord Griffith going? You know what? Lord Griffith it is. Let's, let's Lord Griffith it. And then we're going to go with some Leela. And if I take any damage from anything, that 18 heal on is really going to help us out. Okay, I'm not too worried about Leela. She will get healed. So let's get Louise in play now. Probably should have played Bender, but it's a mythic card with tons of health. So 
Okay, now Rich, who are we going to make? Uh, we could make Louis. Rich Leela there is an interesting one. She will cheers up another Rich card. If only I Louis the Motivate was next to Lord Griffin, that would have been really nice. Uh, she doesn't do enough attack though, but she has a huge shield. I might leave Leela. I might make Louis Belcher. She will at least get a 13 boost if we do a combo on Leela. And we won! Lord Griffith took it home again. Glad I put that extra Peter in the deck. Lord Griffith is the bomb. Is one of the money card bombs. Um, uh, totally OP smashing these decks and winning it for me. I wonder if I'll ever lose if I get Lord Griffith in that first spot. Interesting. There's a Stewie. Um, we've got, we can make our Bender's Orphanarium straight up. Ooh, interesting. We can make a Red Rodriguez too real. Pan Flute Stewie's pretty good too, although he's good in a second spot. Let's go with Bender to start and see how this turns out. What's he putting in second spot? Interesting. I think my op I think I have to Red Rodriguez too real it to get the health and to get the punch. And if we punch Stewie, good. Good. We took Stewie down and now we're in it. We're in it to win it. Now I'm putting Stewie in my second spot. And with Pamflute Stewie, um, is it? Oh, no, no, we don't have the musical card because we did it. And we can't do that combo. Oh, no, I played that wrong. I played that wrong indeed. Well, let's get Peter in play then. Um, at least Stewie's going to stay alive. We can make Drunk Peter at least. Or we can make Lord Griffith straight away. Let's, let's Lord Griffith that to pieces uh, and get Lord Griffith healing up. Exciting. Now, will will Lord Griffith die? Will Stewie die? I don't think Stewie will die. Yes! The punch went in the right spot and Lord Griffith healed him up 18 and he got leeched. So Stewie's alive and I've won it. Well done. I've won it. If not this turn... Oh, it'd be close. Have I won it this turn? Or next turn? Oh, man. Well, let's get another Peter down. Uh, just for fun, but we won now. Yep won that Whew. this is fun this is really fun hey we got more bobby tokens we're two-thirds over two-thirds the way there to leveling up bobby fight in another five years i'll have a level 15 character um <laughs> will you be watching me uh, in five years whoa a mythic Haley. that's a pretty rare one we might open with Count of Monty Hall money card. Leech, payback, you'll get the, the rich boost. I think that's what we're going with. Whoa, again, uh, Peggy. Oh, this is, this is going to be tough. Um, Haley's only doing 13 damage to us. I think we need to get Lord Griffith down, and Peter and Haley should be evened out. They should, they, they should be even Steven. They should both leech each other's health damage back up. Whoa! A kidney killer uh, is not even. Stewie's going to die now. Or Peter's going to die. Lord Griffith here. Oh, no, no. Lord Griffith will give us an extra 13 hamburgers onto Stewie. Uh, and that's my only shot at being able to take out Peggy. So, um, oh, there goes Stewie. What are we going to do now? Let's go with Leela. I think she will end up dying, but it will help. And the extra little bit of motivate onto Lord Griffith. We need to take down Tuning Fork before Lord Griffith dies. Um, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. What's going to happen? If Lord Griffith dies, three health left. Oh, good work, Lord Griffith. You stayed alive. Okay, we can't do any combos. Um, watch a, a mythic Brian. We're playing someone who has a crazy deck. Minos 649 from Planet Express number one. Oh, what should we do here? Um, I don't know what the Brian combos are, so I don't know. I uh, Bender, let's just play Bender. Bender has is just a good all round card to play. Oh, they both died. Oh, because married Brian got bombed out. Or he bombed out my Lord Griffith. So I think with that, I've probably lost. How much health have I got? Okay, good. I can take a hit from Killy Killer Kidney. 
and let's get the cripple and the punch going. It doesn't really matter who we cripple with that robot house. If we cripple married Brian, it probably works best because, whoa, 43 gas, married Brian as a drunk card. I'm totally lost. There is nothing at all that I can do to survive this. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Let's finish with a rich card just for fun. Wow. Wow, uh, Mythic Haley and a Mythic Brian in that deck, and a Mythic Peggy. Three Mythics came out against me. Woo! Wow. All right, we got three battles left. Let's see who we've got to fight in these final three battles, and then that's going to be this episode. Tons of fun. We're fighting Chili Dog here. All right. What are we doing? There's Peter. We're going to open with Peter. Peter, it doesn't matter what we do with Peter. We've got some good combos to make. All right, so I'm thinking Drunk at the Clam, get the craze going is the best way to go. Although he might get too many cards ahead of me. Let's see what happens. What does he do? Oh, Bender Brow. That's a, that's a tough one. Um, I might do Pontucket, actually. Oh, Fry, Drunk Fry makes a good combo too. Let's get Fry out. And then he's done the fire school. Ooh, E equals MC squared Stewie. A drunk fry or drunk fry. I guess we're making drunk fry. There we do. There it is. And now we've got, we can make Jose Severo. Yes, that should do the trick. It can mint Jundal up, but let's see what he combos on it. Um, drunk fry doesn't quite take out Stewie this turn, but E. EMC squared Stewie is like the worst mythic combo of any mythic combos you can make. So we're okay. Drunk Fry's gonna, um, sorry, not Drunk Fry. Drunk at the Clam is gonna take out the Bender Brow. Yep, there he goes. And then we're in really good position. Oh, Jose Severo? Yeah, absolutely we should go Jose Severo. This drunk deck is working good and we got the win. We got the win. With drunk, we didn't even need rich. Because rich and drunk, when you're rich, you can just get drunk whenever you want. <laughs> With all that money. Money, money, money. Uh, I don't drink at all anymore, unfortunately. Two fights left. Because, well, unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. Because of my ulcerative colitis, all my alcohol money goes to drugs to keep me healthy from ulcerative colitis instead. All right, open with Bender and then we'll make a decision what to do. What's he gonna do? Eggnog Rogers, huge. That is huge. So we've got options. Bender Brow's a pretty good option. With the 19 wall, it should be able to hang in there against Leela. Um, the Orphanarium won't work. Baby Bender, cripple all nine. It's a, it's a great card to play, but I think we've got to Bender Brow it. Because whatever we put up against Eggnod Roger is going to need all of that 18 hamburgers. So we can make Fake Sun Gene. Ooh, Catch. Chef Cat Munchies is also a great option. Uh, we got some really good, or Fake Sun Gene, really good Eugene option there. Great, great. We took out his card. I was about to say he's going to get too many cards ahead of me. Um, but I think we're okay now. Gene is going to take a big amount of damage there. And what are we doing? Okay, Yacht Club? No. Cat. Chef Cat Munchies. We want the Leech. We want the Gas. We want the Cripple All. That is a great drunk card. I'm ending up playing more drunk cards than I am non-drunk cards. We're in trouble now. Um, we're, we could be in trouble. We've got to play Bender to keep off Topped Off Wine. And then we've got to keep off of Eugene we can't take another 16 damage so what will take the hit from Eugene or oh, Rusty has 33 Peter Schmidt he can combo on Bender later Hank is an option or oh, Hank gets boosted as well if we don't end up comboing him so Hank it is and then if Bender survives which he should he should then we can combo on Bender and Hank will get boosted so which Bender? Bender Brow? Yes, Bender Brow. And then we get more Hamburger. That's what we're doing. And we boosted up Hank. And now we can make Mowing Well Intoxicated. That's certainly a good option. 
or oil receipts. Uh, oh, oil receipts it is, because how can Oil Man Sam not play the oil receipts? Look at how rich he is from oil. He's got money glasses. I don't have money glasses, but it is how I've managed to um, survive without a job for so long from when I got sick. But speaking of that, I am actually looking to go back to work because I'm pretty healthy now. So, which is great. So, and I do, I do love my, my oil and gas job. Um, it is tons of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and so if I can get some work doing reservoir engineering, um, something where I need to do some simulation work as well, that's the fun bit. Then I'm definitely going back to work We'll see what happens. We will see. So we've opened with Stewie and Hangover Nightmare is a great potential option. Better than Red Riding Stewie. Hangover Nightmare it is. He's two cards ahead of us now. So this is not really the best place to be. Um, and he can make a great, great Hangover Nightmare is doing his job. Will Leela die this turn? He will. I've got to be able to take the hit from Rusty. So Rich Leela or Male Leela. A 24 wall means Bulgo can barely damage me. So that's what we're doing. 20 Male Leela. It doesn't get any battleground effect boost. Now we go in with a Bender. It would have been nice to have Bender out there. Whoa, okay. Um, so Bender's Orphanarium. Or Jose Severo it is. Jose Severo is the bomb. And we win. Love it. Nice victory to finish. Well, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed those matches. I enjoyed the clash and I enjoyed those. Drunk Rich is such a great combo. I love this deck. Um, and the rumble starts in a day and five hours. So I'll be back with more rumble matches where you get to choose my deck and I hope you choose to add some drunk and money cards into my rumble deck because it's fun. All right, see you later. Where's the off? There's the off.